Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Dawn Stans Lamenti. This Princeton record shop is recognized among the best in the world. Step back in time to a music lover's paradise. Princeton Record Exchange, or PREX, in historic downtown Princeton, internationally recognized as a leading independent record store since 1980. To see you know, our little store over and over again in these national publications is just really exciting and very gratifying. We work really hard here to make it a fun place to be. Uh, we try really hard to keep our prices low, to keep our, our stock changing and interesting to people. So we, we take a lot of pride in what we do. From 1975 disco dance hits like Van McCoy's Do the Hustle to fresh indie selections, old soul, funk, rock, and blues cuts. Some 40,000 pieces a month sold here after owner John Lambert and his staff of 20 sort, clean, and restore them to good condition. They buy and sell vinyl records, CDs, DVDs, making music and movies of all genres accessible and affordable. Some of the mm -hmm. dollar albums are a real treasure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Bring back memories. Yeah, Bring no. back a vision of some, some part of their life that they maybe haven't thought about for a long time. I think one of the nice things about our store is we don't really specialize in any, in any one genre or any one price point. So you want to come in and dig through the dollar records? That's great. Uh, you want to spend $2,000 for that really rare jazz record? That's great, too. We have something for every budget. Customers from across the country told me they come here for a cultural, hands-on, personal experience to reclaim memories revived by record albums. It's always been a, a pilgrimage that I make from Los Angeles to come here. She's watching the detectives. Peter's prizes for this year's pilgrimage? These Elvis Costello albums for about $7 each. It's not only about individual songs like it is on Spotify and, and other formats where you're just collecting many songs. Mm -hmm. You're really listening to a, a piece of work from an artist of that particular time. Uh, the internet's a cold and sterile place and I think there's a real desire for engagement. Uh, and that's engagement with physical product or shopping, but also talking to people, talking to people in the stores, hearing music you didn't uh, know about, talking to the staff about what's coming out. You know, all of that makes for the, the gestalt, the, the milieu of a record store and kind of gives it a, a, a reason to come to a store. The reason younger generations come here? Because vinyl is cool again and sales are skyrocketing. Just kind of appreciate like what's out there. It's also like a... There's a part of musical culture that was around when I was a little kid, which was people would go to the record shop and buy CDs. And nowadays people just all have Apple Music and there isn't like this record store culture anymore, which is so much fun. John Lambert, who started here nearly 30 years ago as a young, newly married clerk, is now preparing for International Record Store Day when limited edition titles are sold exclusively at stores like Prex. Right now, he's also ready to rock store shelves with his latest rare surprise finds, including this famous shocking Beatles butcher cover, quickly recalled and repasted with the trunk cover. Uh, but we'll probably be selling that for around $200 or something like that. A mint copy of this, particularly mono, which are rare, can fetch upwards of $1,000. I have a Velvet Underground and Nico that was uh, Andy Warhol designed, and that came out in 1967, uh, which has a peelable banana on the front. Almost everyone you see, the banana's been peeled. Uh, but we have one intact, and that's a real fun thing to see. Record industry experts say for the first time since 2011, CDs and vinyl are actually outselling digital downloads, something that's certainly celebrated here. Reporting for Jersey Matters, Dawn Stenzel Menti. Up next, Larry's commentary.